and welcome to another episode of Wines for the Times. My name is Judith and I'll be your host today. Before we get started, however, I just wanted to introduce you to this Rydell tasting glass. So one of my friends who knows that I'm doing this said, well, I have a glass that's been sitting in my cupboard forever and it's never been opened and would you like it? And so it was gifted to me and I'm going to try it today. So here's the glass. I'm going to put it right here, although you can't really see it. I'm going to put it down. Oh, and it comes with a little write-up. All in German here, English on this side. And basically it tells you that uh, you pour the wine just into the stem here. And that's a tasting portion. And then you can lay it down on a flat surface and the surface area of the wine will be exposed to the air so that you can get the correct aromas, or the intensity of the aromas, rather. You're not supposed to use it to drink the wine, just for a tasting. So this was a very nice gift, and I don't know if you can see this, but this is, this is the write-up on the tasting glass. So I'm going to use it today while we're tasting, and today we're going to be tasting two different wines two half bottles. So the first one we're going to taste is the Chateau Gaudrel Close de Vignon 2016. It's a Chenin Blanc. So here it is. I'm going to try to get it so that the light is such that you can read it. Just a half bottle. It was $17. It comes from France in the Vouray region. 10% alcohol, and this half bottle cost me $17. So here we're gonna go try the new glass. Okay, here we go. We just pour just enough to fill the bottom piece. Here we go. And we're gonna look at it like we normally do against the white background. Actually, if you lay it down like this, which is what you're supposed to do, you can see that the color is a very, very pale straw in the core. And on the rim, it's clear. It's absolutely clear. Now this particular grape, the Chenin Blanc, is a variety in decline. It doesn't have a lot of fruit forward aromas or characteristics, and it's just on its way out. So there we go again. So now I'm supposed to take it and All right, the wine's in good condition. The aromas that I'm getting are of damp straw, which for me is not very pleasant. And green apple. So very, very soury, soury, musty type nose. Here we go. The wine is very dry, very, very dry. It has a lot of acid, but no evidence of tannins. I'm getting a, with a flavor of tart apple, like very tart apple, almost like ones you would feed to uh, livestock. And there's some citrus peel taste, kind of a citrusy, sour citrus peel. You know, the one with the pith. And it has a sour afterbite. The body is medium, but it has a very quick finish or a short finish. It's done. So I would say that this was not good value for the price. It's not well balanced. It has too much acidity, not enough alcohol, and the flavors seem to be relatively one note and quite sour. 
but it would probably pair well with a creamy cheese plate, like a brie or a camembert, with um, some pate and crackers. So if these are the flavors you're looking for in a wine, you might enjoy this. All right, let's move on to the second wine of the day, which is a Moscato. And it is a Siracho, Siracho, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it, and I might apologize. 2017, and um, it's from Italy in the region of Asti. It's 5.5% alcohol, very low. $18 Canadian for this 375 milliliter bottle. So once again, we'll probably should have cleaned this glass out, but here we go. So this, as you can, I don't know if you can see, it has some bubbles in it, so it's a little sparkly wine. Um, if you don't want the sparklies to go and you put it against the white background. It is also very, very pale straw, and the rim is almost clear. It is clear, absolutely clear. There's no sediment or residue. Very good condition. And uh, here we go. I'm supposed to do it like this, right? Oh, the wine's in good condition. It has a medium intensity. I get it way out here. Oh, I'm getting heavy peach aromas with a floral background. Mm, it smells really, really quite nice. Here goes the taste. The wine is sweet, but not overly sweet, not like an ice wine, just kind of slightly sweet. It has low acid, no tannins. The alcohol level is low and the body is medium. I'm getting flavors of raisins and oranges with a floral undertone. And the finish is also short, doesn't stay long on your palate. So I think this was good quality and a fair price for this wine. It's well balanced and it would pair very well with a creamy sweet pineapple dessert. So I made a pineapple dessert that happens to be creamy and sweet and I think it would pair very well with this. But actually on a hot day on the deck, if you like a little spritz in your wine and you like it a little sweet, this is really quite nice. And I never thought I would like Moscato. Well, I don't like the dry variety. This one is really quite good. Well, thank you very much for tuning in today. And have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.